Hi friends. I decided to restart the video because we had way too much lead up. <laughs> so I figured it'd probably be a better idea to restart the video, start from scratch and say hi and welcome to Storytime Sunday. This week's story is called Sweetie and it's by Andrea Zuel. So we're gonna give us just a few more minutes. I will show the book though, so you can see. This is what we're gonna be reading tonight. It's very cute. On the back it says, my name is Sweetie. I like dancing, mushrooms, and rainy days. You too? Need to find your people? Maybe we're a match. Flyers are available. I think I'm gonna like this book. It's about finding your people. Very cute. So we'll give it just a few more minutes. If you join, please say hello so I know that you've joined us. And if you have a little that you're uh, watching this with, please let me know their name and I will do a shout out as well. Therefore, it's time for Storytime Sunday! Yay! Alright, just as a recap, if you're just joining us, the book tonight is Sweetie by Andrea Zuhl. And I do believe that my photos are backwards again. I apologize, I'll have to get that fixed. Sweetie by Andrea Zuhl. Sweetie was awkward, even for a naked mole rat. Please note that naked mole rats are born without fur, but not without the love of clothes. The illustrator is grateful for this, since she didn't have to draw a bunch of highly embarrassing pictures. So these are naked mole rats. And this is Sweetie. You, Grandma's little square pig. Her own grandmother called her a little square peg. Sweetie didn't exactly know what that meant, but she did know that she didn't always fit in. Sweetie could be intense. My doll's name is Ellie. She likes cupcakes. My doll's name is David. My grandma gave him to me. This is Sunshine. She wants to be a doctor. Who's your doll, sweetie? This is warrior princess Zorna, friend of the friendless destroyer of evil, lover of chocolate beet cakes with cream cheese frosting. Her favorite color? is aubergine and my mom made her for me <laughs> and people found her hobbies a bit bizarre would you like to come over to my house and help me identify fungi <laughs> no thank you Occasionally, Sweetie did things like the others, but had a hard time comprehending. <laughs> Occasionally, Sweetie did things that others had a hard time comprehending, like the day she gave her book report through interpretive dance. Today's read aloud book reports: Stephen, Sweetie, Alexi, and Dylan. What book is this? Oh, poor Sweetie. <laughs> there were some times when Sweetie wondered what it would be like to be someone else. Someone like Deb. Deb always said the right thing and had stylish friends. Best of all, she had beautiful hair. Oh, Sweetie wanted hair like Deb's. 
See Deb's hair? There's Sweetie. And there's Deb's hair. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Remember, they are naked mole rats. She thought maybe she should try on a wig. And she's saying to herself, feels itchy. <laughs> Then there were times when Sweetie just felt like being Sweetie. The best days were when Aunt Ruth visited. Aunt Ruth understood Sweetie perfectly. She didn't think Sweetie's hobbies were weird. Really, not a single one. We all need an Aunt Ruth, don't we? Sweetie and her aunt loved going through old family photo albums. Sweetie especially liked the pictures of her mom and her aunt when they were her age. You kind of look like Sweetie, huh? On her most recent visit, Aunt Ruth talked about how she was called a square peg when she was young. Sweetie was starting to understand what that meant. Aunt Ruth said that being different was one of the very best things about her life and that if you stayed true to yourself, you'd find your people. That made Sweetie think. Were there really people out there for her? How would they recognize her? How would she recognize them? Was there a secret handshake she would have to learn? Oh, she really hoped that there was a secret handshake. Sweetie wondered how many times she'd been close to one of her people and not known it. What if she stepped it up a notch? Would her people be able to spot her more easily? Hi, my name is Sweetie. I like dancing mushrooms and rainy days. You too? Need to find your people? Maybe we're a match. Flyers available. Or would that just seem desperate? For now, she'd trust Aunt Ruth, continue to do her favorite things, and be herself. And maybe she'd try a couple of new hobbies, just for fun. She's learning how to knit and to bake cakes. Very good, sweetie. After all, being sweetie wasn't so bad. Oh. Mushrooms, they're beautiful. <laughs> In fact, it could be pretty awesome. Well, aren't you a fuzzy little caterpillar? And who knew when someone else pretty awesome might come along? Oh my gosh, is that the cutest caterpillar? My name is Sandy. Your shirt is wonderful. I wouldn't mind having a shirt with a mushroom on it. I love mushrooms. <laughs> My favorite is Gerometra Exqualente. It looks like a brain. There's Sweetie's new friend. Hi, Sandy. My name is Sweetie. Would you like to learn a secret handshake? Yes, thank you. For all those who have accepted their inner oddball, and 
I know if you're watching, you probably know that you are part of my people because we're all inner oddballs, right? What a cute book. This, this book spoke to me. <laughs> this book spoke to me. Ugh. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if it spoke to you, please go out and get this book and make sure to get it at your local bookseller. Remember to utilize your local bookstores, keep them in business, independent bookstores are the best place to find new books like Sweetie. This was actually one I'd never heard of and it was suggested to me by my friends over at the Briar Patch Books in Bangor who are one of our sponsors for this show. So again, this is Sweetie by Andrea Zuhl. I know it's backwards, but you get the idea. It's a great book about learning how to be yourself and finding your people. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for being my people. Thank you for tuning in to Storytime Sunday. Every Sunday, except for last Sunday, because I was in Disney World. <laughs> Almost every Sunday here on River Road Productions. Um, Share and like these videos, please, so we can grow our patronage. And pretty soon, our friend Beppy will be joining in the fun here at River Road Productions. She is here, so that's exciting. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Have a wonderful Monday. Remember to check in on your independent bookstore. Find some cool books like Sweetie. Stay creative and keep reading. Bye guys, see you real soon.